Welcome to this Roblox Studio tutorial number three and in this video I will be explaining how you should sort the instances which are basically everything in the explorer that you see. I'm just going to be showing you how and why you should sort these. So first thing there are two things that you would usually use the folder and a model. So usually you would have a folder in workspace called map or something and let's say under this you have different pieces so let's say I have these two parts and I just want to make a folder let's just call this one interaction parts and then I just select these two and then move them under there I know this will cause some scripts to fail but that's okay but anyways this will keep these way organized you do not want anything else in the workspace any part is not okay it will cause a lot of messes in the future you just want to have them in a folder or a model and anyways models are usually for a design so let's say you build a robot or something and then you model that robot that's something that you would like to model but I would not like to model these two parts because they have their individual features so that's why I put them under a folder so in replicated storage, here in the future, we'll be storing some remote events, and you will be learning about that in the future, but for now, I will be just creating a folder called remotes, and in here, this is where you can store your remote events and remote functions. You will end up with a lot of these if you make a good game. So in my game called Cave Mining, I have at least 30 remotes, but they're all in replicated storage, and it's really messy. So anyway, in server script service, I don't really need to organize them because there's barely anything that you put here. It's all just scripts, module scripts, and that kind of stuff. In server storage, I want to put a folder here, maybe, and let's call this pieces or like some maps. If you're making a mini game type game, you have a lobby and then separate maps in here that also have related scripts to them that run whenever they're cloned into the workspace. So anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned for more Roblox Studio videos. And join the Discord, the group, and you can also send me feedback of what future tutorials you want to see. And also try out the game that I'm making called Cave Mining. And be sure to stay tuned.